Things can go sliding around on a boat, especially if you're healing on a monohull or traveling on a trawler. But you don't have to put up with this nuisance. Hi, I'm Carolyn Sherlock, and on this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast, I'll share four ways to make darn near anything non-slip. It's easy, and it doesn't cost much either. But hey, as you're planning your holiday gifts, don't forget the Boat Galley products. Things like our logbook, our boat documents organizer, our ICW cockpit guide, the VHF reference, our cookbook, and more. See them all on Amazon.com, The Boat Galley. I know, I know, we're a tiny little business, but we do sell on Amazon. On any boat, even my catamaran, things like to go sliding on tables and countertops. And even if counter and table lips prevent them from going down to the floor, it's annoying. Sometimes you can buy products with non-slip bottoms. Other times, you can't find one you want. The marine version is just too expensive. Or you just plain like something you already have, as was the case with our dog's food dish. You've probably got drink holders in the cockpit. But what about other things? Well, as we've cruised on both of our boats, we've found four good ways to turn everyday items into ones that didn't slip. Okay, first of all, our non-slip placemats. West Marine carries a wonderful line of inexpensive non-slip placemats for about $2 each. Now, I didn't use these all the time, but they were invaluable in rolling anchorages and on passage. Even just having a snack in the cockpit while day sailing benefited from them. They're also a really good mat for playing cards, dominoes, or dice games like Farkle or Yahtzee. With a couple of these on the table, the playing pieces don't go sliding across the table, leaving you to wonder where they all went. And the dice won't bounce off the table and through the cockpit grating. They come in a ton of different colors, and they're made of an open, rubbery material that can be scrubbed and doesn't mold or mildew. There's a link to them in the show notes, but you can find them at at pretty much at any West Marine store. And West Marine does offer free shipping to any of their stores if they don't have it in stock. The next item is non-slip shelf liner. Now you can buy this at pretty much any big box store and at a lot of larger grocery stores too. And while we used a lot of the non-slip shelf liner on the galley shelves and in the bottoms of lockers, we also cut pieces of it to fit on several of our open shelves and a few pieces to put in the cockpit cushions right where we sat so that we could put books and other small items down without having them slip to the floor. It's extremely inexpensive and very easy to cut with just a pair of scissors. It's also good um, to put them between dishes when they're stowed so they don't rattle against one another. Okay, the third thing is non-slip rug mats. Both of our boats, when we first bought them, they had these little cute throw rugs, and it had, they had nice rubber backs from the previous owners, kind of like, almost like bath mats. Well, both times, in less than six months in the tropical heat, the rubber backing was peeling off, and pieces were everywhere, including in the bilge and then into the bilge pump. We should have known better that second time. But anyways, both times we did the same thing. What we did was we got just a plain rug that didn't have any backing. But as you can imagine, it was slippery. And But what you can do is buy a non-slip rug mat. You can get them oh, at Walmart, Target, um, those big box type stores. Um, places like Home Depot and Lowe's often have them. Amazon also has them, and I've given you a link in the show notes. Cut the mats was just a little bit smaller than the rug, a couple inches smaller on all sides. And it sits between the floor and the rug. It's basically like a beefed up version of the shelf paper, and it works incredibly well. We haven't had a problem ever since we started doing that. And finally, you can simply make your own grippy surfaces. And the really nice part about this do-it-yourself approach is that you've probably already got the supplies you need on hand. Simply smear a thin, even layer of silicone caulk on the surface that you want to be non-slip, such as the bottom of a plate, or your pet's dish. I've, I've heard some people say they use rubber cement, but other people say that the rubber cement tends to come off much easier. A plastic putty knife works really well for applying it. 
let the silicone dry without coming into contact with anything else. Now you have a nice rubberized non-slip item. Now, if you're doing this on dishes or something that you're going to wash frequently, use a little care when you're washing them so as not to dislodge the silicone. It'll last the longest on surfaces that aren't glossy and slick. But if you've ever tried to get extra silicone cough off of a project after it's dried, you'll know that it's pretty hard to dislodge it. Anyways, enjoy all of your new ways to keep things where they're supposed to be. Thanks for listening to the Boat Galley Podcast. Make sure you never miss any of our helpful tips or encouragement. Subscribe today in your favorite podcast app.